Hey viewers, Damien here. Did you know that you are really, really bad at knowing what's going to make you happy? <laughs> Don't take it personally, not just you personally, but humans in general are terrible at it. And there's a huge amount of scientific research to prove that. Today, I'm going to talk about why I believe uh, the, the emergence of online dating apps like Tinder, OkCupid, and all the other dating programs that you can use are actually eroding your sense of happiness and well-being and satisfaction in your relationships. The first bit of research I want to tell you about is something that's called choice paradox. And it works like this. In modern day society, we believe that the more choices you have, the happier you can be because you're more likely to choose something that suits you and your specific personality. So when we have a choice between would you like to choose between two different types of bread or a hundred different types of bread, you'll say, well, I'm happiest if I can choose a hundred different types of bread. Now, the best experiment that proves this is when they sell jams at a stall and they have two stalls set up. One stall has six different types of jam on offer. The other stall has 30 different types of jam on offer. And we look at how many people buy jam when they have six choices and how many people buy jam when they have 30 different choices. And sure enough, of the people who come and try a free sample at the 30 different jam choices, 3% will actually buy jam. At the stall that has six different types of jam on offer, of the people who come up and try a sample, 30, 30% <laughs> buy jam. That's what a difference choice makes. So you can imagine on online dating, uh, if you hop on Tinder, you have a choice of hundreds, no, no, probably thousands of men or women in your city who are single, who are available, who you now somehow have to choose from. So the odds of you picking just one and locking onto that one person are reduced by a factor of 10 based on this research. There's also another psychological principle at play, and that's called decision permanence. The experiment is run like this. There's two groups of photography students, and at the end of their term at university, each group is told you, you can take one photograph, one of your works home, and, and it can be framed and you can keep it in your house to show off, but the other six for your project will need to be displayed by us at the university and you won't be able to get them back. Please choose the one and take it home. However, one group is told, please take, make a choice, take it home. If you're not happy with the choice, uh, there's nothing we can do about it because we do need to keep the other six. The other group is told, please make a choice, um, but you know, in the next two or three months, um, you know, if you're not happy with the choice you made, take it back and swap it out with one of the others. The, then in, um, six months down the line, the students are then interviewed and asked how happy they are with the choice they made and which photograph they decided to keep. Which group do you think was happiest with their choices? The answer, which is surprising, is that the group that had, that had to make a decision on the spot and couldn't go back on it anymore, they had no other options available to them, were twice, more than twice as happy with their choice of photo than the group who was allowed at any time for the next three months to go back and swap it out. This is the counterintuitive nature of us knowing what's going to make us happy. So again, when we look at programs like OkCupid, when we look at apps like Tinder, we have this problem in, in, in this whole generation that I'm a part of where I can start a conversation, with 10 conversations with 10 women in, in 10 minutes and have all these options and then somehow I'm, I'm expected to just focus and settle on just one. When there are so many other options, there are so many women out there that I have access to that I could date. How am I ever going to just settle with the one, you know? And, and more than that, if I do get into a relationship with one woman, how on earth am I going to be truly happy with her when I'm constantly reminded how many other options I have out there? You see, our generation is obsessed with keeping our options open. We don't really commit. We don't really pick one partner and say, I'm going to make this work no matter what. Instead, we say, look, I'll be with this person, I'll have children with this person, I'll get into a marriage with this person, but, you know, heck, if it doesn't work out, I'll just, I'll find someone else. There's plenty of fish in the sea. And it's that exact same thinking that happened to the photography students as well, that when we feel like that, we'll, we're never really able to be as happy with that partner as we could be. Because the way our brain works is we, when we have no choices, we wire ourselves to be happy with what we have. When we feel like we have other, other options, we are wired to always wonder what if. And in my heart of hearts, I believe this constant thinking, what if, uh, that, that, that online dating has given us, has really made it difficult to be truly happy uh, and, and I guess secure and safe and satisfied in the relationships that we create for ourselves. I'm really curious to think what your thoughts are on this. 
please put your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think this is a load of rubbish? Let me know. I'm really, really eager to find out. And as always, be sure to subscribe to my video so you don't miss out on any of my three weekly broadcasts. Take care, everyone. Hey guys, do you get frustrated approaching women and then getting rejected? I'd like to invite you to my free 12 video training series where I'm gonna show you how to make such an amazing first impression before you even say a word that rejection will soon become a thing of the past. See that button down there? Don't procrastinate anymore. Go ahead and click on it and I look forward to working with you.